don't believe that this panel has had that, that this panel had what we said has been absorbed. But I, I really I really feel like I've wasted my time on this past two years on this panel. Uh, we're back uh, to a situation uh, where uh, EPA appears to want to just simply spend the money and, and walk away from the problem. Uh, I object as a taxpayer that uh, if, if this is what is proposed, nothing should be done. Uh, give the $8 million back to, uh, the, to FEMA to find some useful work for it if they can. someone that lives down here and as someone that down as a medical person is, you better reconsider it because this, this is a very, very big mistake. But we went through 21 months of, you know, of, of collegial and technical discussion, the essence of which is ignored in the final product produced by EPA. And, and I think that this sampling plan and, and this panel process does a tremendous disservice to the panelists, to EPA, and, and to the people in Lower Manhattan and possibly elsewhere uh, whom we're supposed to be helping. Um, this, this plan, if implemented, suffers on, on, on two, in two basic matters. One, one is it's, it's scientifically and technically flawed, and I hope we can get into some discussion of that. And second of all, the participation rate. Uh, there's no incentive to participation because it's clearly flawed. And, and uh, frankly, I don't see any, any possibility of success in terms of enrollment, let alone in terms of acquiring uh, scientifically useful data. As public health officials, as environmental policy officials, we should never be in a position where we do something and then leave data behind that only adds to people's aggravation, concern, and only creates a bigger problem. That is the danger. It's not just the absence of science, but it's the extraordinary uh, likelihood of failure. And that failure uh, will not be the failure of the panel or the failure of the community, but it will be the failure of EPA, which would be a a great disservice to the many people at EPA who work hard and who work competently to make things happen in the city. And I'm really uh, dis very disappointed that, I, that it seems that we have taken a step back two years, back to this room, back to our original meeting, to a proposal that on the face of it seemed expedient. And um, in the world of emergency response, what's expedient typically is not what is right. I just want to remind everybody, this is what it looked like on September 12th outside our window when the Lockheed City the World Trade Center. And I can't believe that we can send people to the moon and they come back and we can't figure out what's in our HVACs and whether it's a true We've entered into this process in good faith hoping that with the panel of experts and with the, the agency that we would be able to develop something that would answer the questions that we would like to have answered that have not been answered since September 11th. And instead, the administration and the EPA acting under those orders has put together what is essentially a sham. And the sad part is that if this plan goes forward, we will be no closer to having an answer to the contamination left by September 11th We'll be no closer to having protection for the health of our families and our colleagues at work. But this plan does serve a purpose, and that's um, in, in reference to Mark's comment. We believe that the purpose of this plan is to forward the administration and the EPA's cover-up. And with this plan, the EPA will be able to walk away and say there is no contamination, there is no problem, we're done with the process. 